Hello, welcome to How to Draw Celtic Patterns. I'm your host, Jason Bellchamber. Now we're going to draw a heart with Celtic interlace inside, but we're going to make it a little more complex than the last one. So, you're going to use a straight edge, a pencil of some kind, and some black pigment liner markers. And you're also going to need an eraser. So, make yourself a grid. We're going to make a 2x2. Two two. Lightly scorb both sides of your straight edge. There's our 1x2, and now we've got 2x2 two two square. We're going to connect the corners. There. So now we've got the quadrants broken up. First off, lightly make a heart, heart that is pleasing to you. side I'm going to make the mirror image of this. Right, there's our heart. Now we're not going to completely use it. What I'm going to use is use this shape to fit Celtic interlace. So here's what I want you to do. You're going to connect this down here to here. So we're making a marquee shape, which is like an eye on its side, like this, okay? Now we're going to fit a triskel inside this. What I want you to do is just imagine that this is the halfway mark right there, okay? And what you're going to do is, this one lives here, this one lives here. Right when you get to here, draw a curve like so. Okay. Right here, mirror this. Great. Now, we're going to make a loop, which goes like this. So basically what you've got is a little triquetra within a heart. All right. Now we're going to start drawing the interlace. I'm going to start with my thinnest 0.1 millimeter pigment liner. And I'm going to start in the center. I'm going to decide that it's going to be this thick. So this one is going over, this one will go under, and then over at this crossing. This one goes under, so it's over here and under here. This one goes under and we'll go over here. Interlace ribbon. Right 
Now we're going to go out, so this one goes under and over here. Where should we go next? This one, this line here is going to go over here, but under here. This one's over, so it will go under and this will interlace. This one goes over and then under this. Imagine it's drawing underneath. This one under, and this interlace goes over at this point. This design here is one of my own, and I've made it as a little charm and pendant that I make in silver and gold. If you want to take a look, just go to my website, please. All right, so let's connect this one to here. This one goes under and will go over at this intersection. And there. One more curve here. Where should I start? I may be blocking it. However, to the inside. Great, in the next section, we're gonna fill this in.